Hello, third grade, Mr. Mush here. So this week, we're talking about Keith Haring and his projects, all right, and his painting projects. And he was known as a pop artist and street artist, and he was known for his figures that looked like this. Now, for this project, if you have construction paper at home, you're, I, I would draw what I'm going to how to draw the figures on construction paper, cut them out, and glue them down just like this. If if you don't, if you don't have construction paper then I would say just follow along with me on the white piece of paper. All right, so I'm gonna grab my piece of paper here. All right, so the way to get started is what I call, let me fix the camera just a second here, okay? What I would call um, um, the um, skeleton. You're drawing the bones inside the body. So I'm gonna draw a circle, then the shoulders, and the spine, the hips, and I'm gonna pose the arms and legs any which way I want. So I'm gonna pose the arms like this, the legs bent, and then one leg's down, all right? So I'm gonna, then I'm gonna draw the meat of the bones, and we wanna make sure our guys are fit and healthy, okay? Because what I see, and then I just drew around all the time, but what I see a lot of third graders do is they do this. They do a good job here, and then they go like this. They're too skinny. Put some meat on those bones, just like this. And then once you've drawn around your bones, you're going to erase the bones, just like I'm doing. That's why you want to sketch the bones lightly. All right, then when you're done, you can take whatever color you want, and then you have to outline it with a dark, thick outline. If you want to outline it with black, to be like Keith Haring, you can. You want to use other colors you can as well all right and then you just color in your figure but if you have construction paper at home you can color in your um or you don't have to color in anything you just cut it out and glue it down all right and then if you're doing it like me you're just going to color in your figure okay so you're gonna fill up your page. Oh, and one more thing, don't forget to do your accentuation marks to show that it's moving, all right? So don't forget to come up with different dance poses, all right, like I'll do one more because I know it's really popular, the dab. I'm gonna draw the shoulders, the spine, the hips. Okay, I'm gonna draw the legs and then I'm gonna draw the one arm that way and I'm gonna draw the one arm there and then the one arm like that. All right, and then so I'm going to draw around the bones. Don't make them skinny. Okay, I'm going to go up, and then I'm going to go around the arm like this. Okay, and then I'm going to go around like that. All right, and then I'm going to take my eraser. I'm going to erase the bones. And for this, because it's the dad, you got to erase some of the face. Okay, and then I'm going to erase, I'm going to do my border, my outline, and then there's the head. Okay, and then I'll color it in, all right, and I'll color this one in pink. Okay, so you, what you're going to do is you're going to fill up your whole page with dancing figures just like that. Okay, and don't forget your accentuation marks. If you want to draw the dog, you can draw the dog like this. Draw an M for his ears. Go out, go in, sideways V, like that. Then draw a long line going that way, a little square for his tail. And then what I call castles, go up, down, over, like that. And you do that four times. That's how you draw his dog. And then if you want to draw a baby, draw the head, um, the letter C two lines, they, or three lines, excuse me, they don't touch the head, two little bumps, and then the number three for the back leg for the baby. And if you want to do a wolf man, just do the dog's head on a person's body, all right? And you need to fill up your whole space with dancers. And like I said before, if you have construction paper at home, draw on construction paper and cut out your dancers and glue it onto your page. If not, you're going to do it just like I showed you here, all right? So that's how you draw everything, and that's what you need to do. All right. All right, third grade, I hope you have fun with this project. Until next time, take care.